the earlier stages that you go, the more that intuition is something that uh, we find a lot of investors leaning on. <clears throat> and for us, actually, that's kind of the area of weakness of early stage venture. So our model of hustle funds is a little bit strange. Um, you know, one of the things I'll sort of challenge you, Bill, to think about, and, and maybe you too, actually, Roger, at this point in your career, is, you know, there, there are probably folks in your life uh, that you had a chance to work, out, work with as colleagues where they came from perfect pedigrees, um, just everything looked right. And then the moment that you start working with them, you realize that they couldn't hustle. And then there's sort of the reciprocal use case too, or, or I guess the opposite use case, I should say, of, you know, maybe someone that you took a chance on that, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe had a bit of a checkered background or, or whatever, but you decided to hire them anyway. And then you realize that this person, you know, was an incredible hustler, you know, like a 10X operator. Mm -hmm. At this early stage, when you're working with teams, it's almost, it's very difficult to discern who's who. And it's not to say that people with great pedigrees can't be great hustlers too. So in our model, you know, we think that it's too gut-based to actually make an assessment of, you know, um, over allocating lots and lots of capital just from like a few sets of meetings at the pre seed stage when there's very little traction, the team is so early, um, the product doesn't look right just yet. Uh, that's That for us is like an impossible task to just make judgments out of the gate. So what we do in our model is uh, we start with a very small $25,000 check that we generally can write within the first 25 minutes of meeting a team. It's a small engagement angel check. And then we'll work with the teams on growth projects for four to eight weeks, usually related to sales user acquisition. Um, and it's from that period of time where we can get a much better sense of each other's work, um, what it's like to hustle together, see the execution, and actually prove our value to each other. And in cases where um, you know there's real, the right kind of hustle, where you get excited about the nuances in the market that we learned from executing with the team, that's when we uh, ask to participate in future financing rounds. So uh, that's essentially how our model works is like, we, we think that instead of gut, you know, we just have to see the execution together. And again, the real emphasis here is it's not one way. It's not like me just sitting on my golden throne, judging Roger and be like, ha ha, you know, like, he's judging us as, as well, right? To see whether we're a good long-term partner to work with for seven to 10 years before their IPO, because it takes a long time to build these companies. Yeah. Um, so a little bit more, I guess, around hustle fund.